Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. Today, Amazon Web Services announced that they're going to be supporting uh, SQL Server in addition to MySQL and Oracle on Amazon um, RDS or uh, a Remote Data Services, I think what it's called. There's a couple interesting things here, and I want to do, show you it and do a quick screencast of how to get it set up. First of all, they have a free tier um, of usage that uh, they have very specifics on here. Uh, 750 hours, 20 gigs of storage, 10 million IOs, and 10 gigs of uh, backups. So, uh, and you can use the Amazon Management Console. So that's interesting. The second thing is they currently support 2008 R2, um, all the various editions. They have some different licensing models here. They have it pretty well detailed on this page. Uh, here's all the features. Interesting to look at, they have automated backups and snapshots. Um, so the license is included with Express, Web, and Standard. Bring your own license for Standard, and this is really new enterprise. Also, they announced today that they will be having SQL uh, 2012 available later this year. So I'm going to um, pause this, and I'm going to start spinning this up just to show you the uh, process to set one of these guys up and how to work with it. So I'm going to pause the video. So here I am in my Amazon Web Service Management Console under the RDS section, and I'm just uh, clicking launch DB instance, you'd have to be signed up for the service and everything, and you can see here's the stuff they already had, the MySQL and Oracle, and here's the SQL Server stuff. So we have Express, and they have maximum sizes, uh, the Web Edition, the Standard Edition, and uh, the Enterprise Edition. So uh, since I don't have a license handy, I'm going to go ahead with the Standard Edition for this demo. I'm going to click Select, and then I put my license model, and I'm going to say uh, License Included. And here's the engine version. Then we have the instance class, and I'm going to go with the large instance, multi availability zone deployment, no. Um, and then I'm going to set some of the other uh, values here. I'm going to pause the video while I do this. So I went ahead and filled in the rest of the values. You can see them here. In the next screen, it sets the port, the availability zone, the parameter group, and the uh, database security group. In the next screen, you set the backup retention, the backup window, no preference, or a window, and the maintenance window values. And when you're done, you click Launch. Notice you can manage your instance on the instance pages. You can go to this database security groups, um, and you can go to the snapshots page. You can also uh, use ElastiCache for caching. Okay, it took about three minutes for my instance to um, have a status of available and uh, you can see that I have information about my instance here on the bottom. Then you have to go into the security groups and you have to authorize your IP. Um, also, I would recommend uh, to access, because it's like SQL Azure, no access by default, um, that you look here in the common DBA tasks for SQL Server. I haven't thoroughly reviewed the documentation yet, but it looks pretty compatible. Um, and then you just go to uh, Management Studio and connect um, using your login credentials and you get all the goodness that is Management Studio, so you can create a new database. And again, I haven't, um, you know, I'm just digging into this right now, um, just, you know, kind of like a new toy, so I'm not really sure how, uh, how quickly things are going to work, how much compatibility there is, but um, they're just very interested in seeing, uh, you know, how this is really going to work. I'm really excited that SQL Server 2012 is going to be available here. And I know it's going to be something that uh, I'm going to be working with um, and testing and talking to customers about. So what this is, again, is this is uh, Amazon's big announcement today that uh, they have um, uh, SQL Server available um, in, uh, uh, for, uh, on RDS uh, 2008 all the way up to Enterprise, and they will be having 2012. So try it out. Let me know what you find. Um, more on my Twitter, at Lynn Langett, or my blog, All Things Data, www.lynnlangett.com. Also, I'm running a class coming up in uh, Anaheim on uh, no SQL for the SQL Server Professional, so check that out as well. Here's the link for that. And uh, keep digging into all things data. Thank you very much.